Hello Disney Infinity Trainers! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Toy Box here on iStarly TV. Today I'm playing as Disgust. Look at her. Isn't she cute? She is not happy about helping me build my toy box. But, you know, she's got to do what she's got to do. Um, I took her out of Riley's mind just so that she could help me. And, I mean, Joy and Anger were willing to. But Disgust just wanted to do her own thing. But anyways, here she is with Barbosa following her along. Uh, I don't need you right now. Sorry, folks. Uh, you're going to have to go away, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was kind of mean. Okay, so I did make a couple changes to my Main Street area. I did add a good amount of decorations here. As you can see, I added some sidewalks and, and some things in the background there. Again, this is all kind of tentative for right now. I'm not really sure how much of it is going to stick, but I kind of like the way it's coming along so far. Um, I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and kind of show, you know, uh, some of the different things I've added. And today, what I want to work on is finally implementing that day slash night cycle. And then I want to also add a couple other neat little, neat little things to our world. So... For the first time, there is nothing new in the farm, so we're not going to check that out today. <laughs> um, so I changed the fountain from the Monsters University fountain to this little uh, marble, sorry, marble fountain right here. Um, I think this one's a little cleaner, maybe a little smaller. The, the Monsters University one was kind of hefty, and it kind of got in the way of like the view, even though you know this is also in the way of the view too. But you know, it is what it is. Also what I did was I didn't want this to just be the entrance right here and then there was a way for you to go around. So what I did was first of all I put these railings here kind of like they have at Disneyland and then I added uh, the, the these uh, barrier blocks right here to prevent you from jumping over the edge. Although it's worth noting that if you have a character that can fly or that can jump very high, you can still clear that, but yeah, you know, it's all about the idea of it, isn't it? <laughs> So let's go through our little gate. And, you know, I decorated a lot of the houses. I kind of added more right there. Added the sushi cat. I, that, I think that's a really cool little addition to Disney Infinity. This little cat that spins around with sushi in its hand. I think that's awesome. And so I definitely wanted to include that in some way. And I thought that the little sun uh, billboard right here would be kind of fitting. You know, it looks like it could be, it could correspond to some sushi. And then we also have Gusto's. A restaurant right here so if you want to eat there additionally you know I've put a lot of other houses here there's some ice cream over there if you're if you're hungry for a cold treat you know in the summer hot days and then I put these two little floaty balloon guys I really like these guys <laughs> um, they're just really funny and and just kind of cool I guess and uh, I'm probably gonna make sure that they they look a little cleaner here maybe I'll move this one down a little uh, because he's floating right now. Oh, well, the reason I did that was because it, it's interfering with the bridge. All right. Well, yeah, I'll fix these, and um, hopefully they'll end up looking a little better than they currently do. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and even if they're close like this, let's see. Oh, she ended up all the way over here. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's how it is for now. Um, I'm definitely going to add some more unique little treats and stuff and, and expand the world beyond just the main street. But this is our main street for now. And, you know, this is kind of our, our, our spawn point for the world. Maybe I'll make like, you know, an area that branches out this way, one that branches out that way, and one that branches out this way. So the, the main street area will kind of be like the central point of the world with, of course, the farm in the distance. All right. So first things first. Let's go ahead and do that day and night cycle that I've been talking about for many episodes. So what we're going to need here is the Sky Changer. We are also going to need, and there are probably many ways to do this, but I'm just going to be doing it my way, the way that I am aware of, <laughs> or the way that I can, can think of. I'm, I'm kind of making this up as I go along uh, with understanding how these sp specific creative toys work. So we're going to need a Sky Changer, a Trigger Area, as well as three cal no sorry four calendar configurators because I want there to be four different times of day that you can that you can play in really all right so we've got that all set up we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this up first so we're gonna make it so that when let's let's go ahead and lay these out so they're a little easier to um, 
to see. Let's see here. Okay. So we're going to make it so that the trigger area, when it, is, when it is exited... So basically for the calendar configurator to work, some kind of toy has to trigger it. Some kind of connection has to cause it to work. And so we're going to have, when the player exits it, any player, whenever any player leaves this trigger area, we're going to connect it to all four of these individually. So we're going to connect it to the first one. So we're going to say query, which means basically when this trigger happens, the query is that it checks with this particular calendar configurator and says, is it the particular range of days or, or hours that you're asking for? And if it is, then this particular event is going to happen. If it's not, it'll go to the next one and ask the same thing. Is it within the range? If it is, it'll trigger. If not, next, and, and so on. So we're going to connect all four. Like that little game, connect four, exited, player, any. Sorry, I'm going to be repeating it just to be sure that I'm making the correct connections here. And like I said, there might be a, a potentially easier way of doing this, but this is the way that I'm aware of and um, the way that I'm kind of coming up with on my own that I think can work. All right, query. And finally, the last one here. Exited, player, any. And we're going to go ahead and query. And basically, now what we're going to do is we're going to set these calendar configurators. We're going to configure these calendar configurators for their properties. And so January to December, those are the range of, of months. And so since it includes all of the months, it's always going to trigger every single day, depending on the time. Uh, January 1st to December 31st, same thing. It's all inclusive there. And I will set... Later on in the series, I will be setting specific calendar configurators for my um, or for, for different holidays and things like that. And so it'll kind of change the way the, the toy box looks depending on that. So that'll be cool. That'll be kind of fun. All right. So now we're looking at the times. So I, like I said, I want four different times of day. So four different sky changes throughout the times of day just for a little more variation. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and start with this last one here. I could make the first one the last one, but, you know, just for the sake of keeping the, keeping things organized, we're going to start here and we're going to do this one as the twilight sky the one that my favorite sky the one that's active right now and we're going to make this from and it's in military time so it goes from 12 13 14 etc we're going to make it from i want to say let's say from 7 p.m if you're playing no let's say you know 6 30 i i really like this sky and i want it to be active as much as possible so if you're playing the toy box here at, at 6 30 p.m or later um until let's say 5.30 a.m. So if you're playing until 5.30 a.m. Uh, from from 6.30 p.m. to 5.30 a.m., that's about 11 hours right there. Um, but that's, those are essentially the night hours. If you're playing within those night hours, um, this is the sky that'll be. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it 7 p.m. So 7 to 5.30. So those are the properties there. So if you're playing from 7 to 9, 9.30, here's what it'll do. Or sorry, uh, 7 to 5.30 should be the thing. Uh, so when the queried current time is in the specific range, then we're going to go ahead and change the sky to the Disney tw uh, Castle Twilight. All right, so there's that. So if we're playing at nighttime, that's what it'll change to. Uh, and then we're going to set these. So the next point is going to be until 7, right? Because the, the following one starts at 7, so this one has to end at 7. And we'll start it at, let's say this one's going to be a little later afternoon. So we'll say this will start at 4 p.m. So this one will be active for about 3 hours. Uh, 4 p.m., which is 1,600 hours. Um, for, for 3 hours, this one will be active. And so when it's in the specific range, we're going to go ahead and choose the... I have a couple of these planned, but not all of them, so you're going to have to bear with me, I suppose. Uh, the, this is the late afternoon. We could do just the Disney Castle Sky. What time are we at right now? It's after 7, so I wouldn't be able to see it until tomorrow. Um, let's try that. Or Mickey's Spellbound Sky. Is that the one with the, with the space? We're going to do the Disney Castle Sky. I think that's the default one. 
Let's go ahead and set it and, and, and we'll see right now. Let's go ahead and try it. Uh, this is going to be properties. The current sky is going to be... Let's take a look at what it looks like. Yeah, okay, okay, that's kind of the basic one here. Um, and that, honestly, that looks like a, a kind of midday, a late late day kind of sky. So even though that's the default, I'm going to go ahead and actually leave it until I come up with another sky. A lot of these are going to be tentative, so if I, if I can find a, another sky that works well with, with the corresponding time, then I'll go ahead and choose that. But for right now, these are going to be tentative. Um, I also want to pick up the t Tomorrowland power disks and use the Tomorrowland um, power disk for one of the skies. But for right now, you know, this is going to be it. So this one starts at 4 p.m. So this one's going to have to end at 4 p.m., right? So that's going to be, again, 1,600 hours. And we're going to go ahead and start this one at, let's say, this one can start at noon. So this will be a four hour long sky. Um, yeah, so this will be kind of the afternoon sky. So at noon, from noon to, to 4, 4 p.m., uh, four hours worth, it'll be a different sky, which we're going to go ahead and, and choose one right now. So when it's in the specific range, we're going to choose... This is another one where I haven't, I, I could think of the, let's see, fix it, Felix, Atlantean Sky, San Francisco, Sky Island. Could do Baloo's Jungle, but then that's kind of weird. <laughs> Pixie Hollow Sky, Lilo's Sky, Asgard, Above the Grid, Misty Magic, Empire's Weapon, Sanctuary Moon, that's the Tatooine Sky, Echo Base. No, Sanctuary Moon is Endor. Uh, the Twin Sun is Tatooine, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that one after. Evergreen Woodland Sky. Hmm, Mickey's Bright Blue Sky, Syndrome's Headquarters. We're going to try the Evergreen Woodland right now and see if that one's going to work. Oops, it's going to be Properties. All right. Oh, that's like the Snow White sky. I like this. I like this a lot. It's just kind of weird that during the day, random trees just appear around our, our toy box. But you know what? I really like this, so I think I'm going to stick with it for now. I, I think this is a really pretty sky. So, yeah, this will be it for now, then, for, for the kind of uh, afternoon sky. Let's go, let's go ahead and take a look at what the Tatooine sky looks like first, just to get an idea. And if that one looks any better then we're gonna go ahead and choose that that one's a little different though because it's a, it's like a desert sky so um, <laughs> there's always gonna be conflicts with what we're choosing here all right this one is let's see yeah that looks too deserty there was another one that I encountered the other day that was actually pretty cool and it was just like clouds and, and stuff. So I'm going to try to find that one. I think it might be, let's see, let's try the bright blue sky or is that the, the farming one? Yeah, that's the farming one. All right. We're going to find it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's try Misty Magic. I think that's the one I was looking for, for the, for the kind of late afternoon sky. And it definitely is this is the one I used for my Hercules toy box. You know what? We're going to go ahead and switch switch the third one for that. So we're going to go ahead and do the Sky Changer. Currently, it's the Disney Castle Sky, but we're going to do Mickey... Uh, no, we're going to do the... What's it called? The Misty Magic Sky. It looks similar, but this one's different than the original Sky. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Sorry, we're, we're, this is all over the place, like I said. Um, property Sky going to be the above the grid skies over Asgard, Pixie Hollow, Galactic Prison, Scottish Highlands, Infinity and Beyond Open Sea, Monsters U. It could be Monsters U that could work. Metroville's cool too, but I don't really like um I don't like the music. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at the Dragon's Flight. It might be the one I was thinking of. I hope it is. Oh, uh 
me see. This looks a little too late in the day, and, and this is another one where I'm not very fond of the music. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at one more. There was one I was looking at that was just a, a sky with clouds in it. I don't know what, which one that one was. I don't know if that one's exclusive to a power disc. And we just hit that 15 minute mark, by the way, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up pretty soon. So let's go back to the Metroville sky, and let's see if this one's any better than the, than the one we have chosen for it right now. Honestly, you know what? This might be it. This might just be the sky we're going to use. Um, it's bright, so it's it's indicative of like early afternoon going into the later afternoon. And maybe I'll just change the music for this one um, if I remember to. But for right now, I like the way this looks. All right, so for the for the morning sky then, I'm going to have to look for one of my power discs. So excuse me. All right, I found it. It was literally at the bottom of my toy box box, or sorry, power disc box. But this is the Mulan themed sky. And this one, I love this sky. It's so peaceful. Uh, let's go ahead and remember though to set this one. So this was from 12 to 1600 hours. And we're gonna go ahead and do new logic. And it's in a specific range. All right, did I already change it? I don't even remember. Yeah, I think I, I think I already changed it. Let's go ahead and edit that. Sky changer, time. Uh, no, I haven't changed it yet, so. All right, and if you can think of any better skies for this, definitely let me know. But I, I think I like my selections here. I think it looks kind of cool. All right, next we are going to new logic connection, query time in specific range, and last but not least, what is it called? The Middle Kingdom. There we go. Sounds a lot like the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> All right. And so now what we're going to do, well, we already set it so that when we exit this, it checks the time. So we're going to put this where we spawn, basically. And I'm definitely going to be editing, uh, you know, the dimensions so that it's not a very big trigger area. Right. So we'll go ahead and... Cut it like that, move it to there, if we can, if it'll let us. All right, sure. And let's see, exit spark mode. We need spark mode, sorry. Okay, let's, see. let's go ahead. And just move this like this. All right, I mean that's better than uh than nothing. <laughs> All right, yeah, that that works well. I think that works well enough. So we spawn here, and as soon as we leave this trigger area, it checks the time and changes the sky to the corresponding time. And since we are in the latest range, um, yeah, look how beautiful this is. Um, so we're, so it's setting it to to nighttime. Okay, let's go ahead. And, I I don't think I edited the properties for this one. I did not. Okay, so this one is going to be ending at noon, and it's going to be starting at 5.30 a.m. And so now we have a full cycle because the last one over here ends at 5.30 a.m., and now we have a complete cycle of, of four different skies that'll change depending on the time of day that you're playing in this toy box. So now whenever I'm playing in this toy box, whenever I'm doing a, an episode, you'll kind of get an idea for what time of day I'm playing at, right? That's kind of cool, isn't it? All right. So we ended up spending the whole episode uh, doing that day and night cycle, unfortunately. I definitely wanted to do a couple other things that I've had in mind, but we're going to have to go ahead and save those for um, for future episodes then, unfortunately enough. Let's see, where are we here? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, go ahead and subscribe and or, and or leave a like or comment if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions, anything you liked about the series, um, about this particular video, or if there's anything that you want to see me do or add to this toy box, let me know. I definitely want this toy box to not only be about me, but about the community as well, and I, I would love to take ideas from, from fans and friends. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.